Welcome to Balibit's demonstration of how Syslog NG Storebox can reduce the cost and increase the performance of your SIM solution. Security teams are often overloaded with alerts that are generated by SIM solutions. In the demonstration, you will see how events generated by an application server can be filtered to remove the data that's irrelevant from a security perspective. On the right hand side, you will see the interface of the Syslog NG store box. On the left hand side, you will see on the top gauge, it's representing the number of events per second that are received from the application server. On the bottom gauge, it indicates the events that are being forwarded. In this case, it's a SIM solution. The number of events generated by the source will fluctuate during the video. You can see the number of events from the source is about equal to the amount that is delivered to the destination. Let's see how Syslog NG is configured. Now that I've logged in, you will see the main menu on the left hand side to, of the user interface. When you click on the log area, you will see the sources submenu. In this area, you will see a list of sources listening for devices that generate logs. Out of the box, there are several that are pre-configured listeners. The link below is called spaces. These are located local destinations where log data is stored locally on the Syslog NG Storebox appliance. There is one that is called local, which contains the logs that are generated by the appliance. The Storebox log space contains the logs from the external store sources. In the third submenu, it's called Destinations. This is where Syslog NG Storebox sends its logs to remote locations via Syslog protocol or SNN, PTRAP, or even to a database. This destination is configured to forward logs to a SIM via Syslog protocol. In addition to the remote destination, it's also storing the logs locally as well. The pass area on the logs are routed to each of the defined destinations. In this example, you are seeing local logs that are generated by the appliance are being directed to a local destination. The logs that are generated from the legacy source are being sent to two different destinations, the local store box log space and the remote SIM destination. Next, I will show you how you can reduce the amount of logs that are forwarded to the SIM. In the search area, you can see the span of 15 minutes, about 500,000 logs. Since the log generating source is a web server, most of the logs are related to the web server activity. By using the pattern database within Syslog NG, I've created a dynamic column which parses out the file type from the web server logs. When clicking on the icon next to the parsed value, you can see a pie chart that will identify messages that are related to each file type from the web server. As you can see in the statistics, 60% of the logs are related to PNG files. Logs regarding graphic files like PNG or JPEG do not provide relevant data for analysis. In this case, HTML logs have relevant information that can be used for security purposes. By filtering out PNG and JPEGs, you can reduce the load on the SIM, and we can do this by clicking on the Log Paths area. In this area, we have configured two destinations for the same logs. One is used for local logs and the other sends the logs remotely to a SIM. When clicking on the filter drop down menu, you can filter messages according to any section in the message. We can create a whitelist or blacklist by selecting is or is not. In this case, we will create a blacklist by selecting is not. I can now enter the text PNG HTTP and I've added HTTP to improve the accuracy of the pattern matching process. Once done, you can commit the changes. In about 10 seconds, the number of messages on the bottom will decline.
The filter we have added has now kicked in and reduced the number of logs sent to assume destination by more than 50%. To filter irrelevant logs even further, we can add JPEG to the filter. I will add JPEG to in the regular expression format and commit the changes. With the simple filtering techniques, SIM performance can dramatically be improved by reducing irrelevant log data. This can save on the cost of deployment and operations.